So I just wanted to do a little video showing that I am running Windows 11 22H2, which is, as of this recording, the latest version available. Um, this is being recorded in December of 2022. This is a Sony VAIO VPC F1. Let me zoom in on the model number so you can see it there. This computer is from 2010. It has an Intel Core i7 Clarksfield quad-core processor. I'll uh, pull up the specs in just a minute and show you. It originally came with 4 gigabytes of RAM. I upgraded it to 8. And I also put in a 1 terabyte solid-state drive from Samsung. This originally had a uh, Seagate 5400 RPM hard drive. I don't remember what the size was. I think it was about a terabyte. But it was really slow. Um, the hard drive anyway. Uh, but with this SSD that I have in here right now, this computer is very fast. It starts up very quickly, uh, loads programs quickly, and it runs Windows 11 just fine. So I'm going to minimize this. As you can see I'm able to get on the internet without a problem. We'll go over to settings and I'll show you exactly what this is running. Um, about, let's see, so there's the information right there. We got 8 gigabytes of RAM, Intel Core i7 Q740. This is a first generation processor and it's running Windows 11 without a problem. Um, as you can see, I'm on Win 22H2. I did have to do some workarounds to get it to run on here because this is not a supported computer officially, but it runs just fine on this uh, computer. There is absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, it's fast, it's stable, I don't get any blue screens. So uh, I just wanted to show you that yes, you can indeed run Windows 11 on an older computer, even one with a first generation Core i7. Um, this computer is about to turn 13 and it still works flawlessly. I did have to replace the uh, charging port once, but um, that's about it. Uh, this computer has been pretty pretty good. So, there you go. You can easily run Windows 11 on an unsupported computer like this. Just thought I should mention that this computer originally did come with Windows 7. Uh, I upgraded it to Windows 10 in, I think, 2015? Yeah, I upgraded it in 2015 to Windows 10. And I still have uh, Windows 10 running on this computer as well. It's on a different partition. Uh, but I don't use it. I use Windows 11. So, yeah, there you go. That's, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.